This week we'll be going over all of the achievements in the game, 12 minutes. This is a new release about a guy stuck in a time loop. So if you care about spoilers, I'm gonna recommend that you go play through the game at least once, just do a blind playthrough, and then come back to this video so you can do your achievement run. And now, let's get into it. So you'll want to follow this guide step by step to make sure you hit all of the points needed to get all of the achievements. If you miss a step or do something majorly different, you might get put into a position where you have to wipe all your progress and start over. And no one wants to do that. First thing to do after opening the game is to make sure that you have a fresh start. So if this is your first time opening it, you'll be good to go, but if not, you're going to want to go to options and reset your progress. So then after that's done, we can hit continue to start a new game. Yeah, it, it doesn't really make that much sense, but if you think about it, it does. So we come up in an elevator, and we can look at the paintings of a bookshelf with a single red book, and another painting with a flower. Then you'll come up to the plant and grab the fake rock, open it, and get into your apartment. There we go. Now we can get listen for letting it be. Once you go into the apartment, hey, don't touch your keyboard Hello. or your controller. Love you. Hands off, just sit back and watch the game play out. Your character and wife will do their own thing for a while without you putting in any input. Eventually the loop will end and you'll get the achievement. Okay. It'll then take you back to the main menu and you can hit continue to start the first real run. You won't actually get this elevator screen every time, but I thought it worked well as a transition, so that's how I'm going to use it. You'll go through the first part like you did last time, but now once you get into the apartment, we'll get fluidity for watering the plant once. You can go ahead and grab one of the cups, fill it with water at the sink, and then go into your bedroom to water the plant once to pop the achievement. Then we have a few achievements related to looking at paintings around your apartment at various parts of the game. For Fawn, you'll need to look at the painting in the bedroom at three different times throughout our playthrough. This time being the first one where there will be a man and a woman standing with each other on the balcony. Then Seasons is for looking at the painting above the couch in the living room four times throughout the game. The first time, it'll be two trees with green leaves in a field. For the last one of these, we have Ouroboros for looking at the painting of the egg in the kitchen three times throughout the game. For this first time, it will literally just be an egg. Now for the rest of this loop, we'll mainly just want to have dessert with our wife. So you'll fill two cups with water, grab the two desserts from the fridge, and set them on the table. Let your wife know that you're ready for dessert and sit down while she grabs her present. Once she sits down, go ahead and start eating your dessert and she'll give you the present to open. Surprise, you're having a baby and she's going to name it Dahlia. So ask her why Dahlia and keep going with the convo however you'd like. It'll be interrupted shortly by a cop and then just sit back and let that play out. At the very end, your wife will say that the watch is in the... My watch is in the... And we'll go into loop two. Now for this loop, the first thing we'll do is tell your wife that you're in a time loop. You need proof, which can be done with the present sitting in the bedroom drawer. Then you can grab the knife and open the air vent under the medicine cabinet in the bathroom to grab the watch and use that for further proof. At this point, she'll believe you and you can start questioning her. And there's more. Eventually, she'll let you know about what happened the night that her father was murdered and she mentions the Polaroid. You'll also want to take a look at the painting in the living room for Seasons Part 2. This time one of the trees will have slightly more yellow leaves. You can also do this on the next loop if you run out of time on this one. Now for this one, you're going to want to grab the two cups from the kitchen and fill one with water. Then go to the bathroom and grab the sleeping pills from the cabinet and put them in the cup of water. Then you'll give that to your wife to put her to sleep. So after a little bit, she'll get tired and go into the bedroom, but before she does that, you're going to want to go in there and turn the lights on and back off. Because the second time that that light switch is flipped, it electrocutes the person that does it. So once she goes in there, you can go to the closet and watch through the blinds until the cop comes in. No, we wait. He's going to look around and will eventually find your wife in the bedroom asleep. He'll try to turn on the lights and get knocked out. <laughs> So quickly grab the Polaroid, close the front door, and go into the bedroom and grab the stuff off the cop. You'll want to go ahead and zip tie his hands, and then shoot him in the knee to keep him from moving. 
Once he wakes up, you can question him about things and make sure that you ask about the charges. What are we being accused of exactly? Why she would do it. Why would she possibly do something like that? Why does he think that she did it? What makes you think she did it? How he was murdered. How did her father die? And then let him know that it wasn't possible for her to be there when her father was killed. What? Wait, what? No, 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 that's not true. Then you can show him the Polaroid and keep questioning him to find out that he knew your wife's father. Her father. Closest thing to family I ever had. Before the loop ends, you're going to want to be sure to take out his phone and call Bumblebee from his recent text to get her number. You're going to need this later on. Please. For this loop, you're going to want to grab the Polaroid from the fridge and then tell your wife that the day is restarting and tell her what happened the night she ran away. Look. Keep questioning her about her past for this loop. You may have to spend two loops questioning her about things to get through all of it to the point where she's completely proven innocent. What? When you shot him, he survived. Somebody else killed him after you ran away. Somebody else? Now in the loop after you've gotten through enough questioning to prove your wife's innocence, you'll want to quickly tell her that you're in a loop and tell her about what happened that night. After you go through all of that with her and tell her that she's innocent, you can grab the phone from in the closet and call Bumblebee. Tell her that her dad is coming to hurt your wife, but she's innocent, and you need her to call him and tell him to listen to her. Then you can talk to your wife and tell her that you'll wait for the cop to arrive. Once he gets there, you'll overhear his conversation with Bumblebee. Hey, Bumblebee. Then once he comes to the door, he'll listen to your wife tell him that she's innocent, and you'll find out why the cop wants the watch. My daughter, she... She's all I care about. She's dying. You'll then also find out that the killer was actually your wife's brother, who was the son of the nanny. It's my brother. Oh my god. You have a brother. Now after that loop, you can take a look at the painting above the couch in the living room for part three of Seasons, where the trees will have a lot of the leaves gone, and they'll be pretty barren. Then in the bedroom, you can check that painting for part two of Fawn, where the woman will now be recoiling from the man. Now for the rest of this loop, you're going to do the same thing as the last, but you'll tell your wife a little bit extra when you're telling her about that night. Then of course, call Bumblebee again, and then talk to your wife about her brother being the killer. You'll also tell her why the cop wants the watch, and then wait for him to arrive. Things will go the same way again, but with a little additional information at the end we'll find out that the nanny's name was something flowery. Hmm, where have we seen a flowery name before? So yeah, now we get to the big loop. We'll do the exact same things as the last loop, but we'll also grab the baby clothes from the drawer in the bedroom. So you'll talk to your wife, then call Bumblebee, and wait for the cop. When your wife goes to get the watch, you're going to take the baby clothes out and show them to him. He'll confirm that yes, Dahlia, the name of your mother, is also the name of the nanny. So, spoiler alert, you are your wife's brother. Some guy is this funny to you? She was my mother. You'll then go to the first visit with your father and you can make whatever choice you'd like. Once you're back in the apartment, you can look at the painting above the couch again for the final part of Seasons, where the painting will be in a winter setting with no leaves. This will cause the achievement to pop. Then go into the bedroom for the final part of Fawn, where the man will be alone on the balcony. This will cause this achievement to pop. We also need to go to the kitchen to look at the egg painting for the second part of Ouroboros, where there will be a snake peeking out of the top of the egg. You'll then need to grab the knife and head back into the bathroom to get the pocket watch again so we can revisit the father. For this one, we'll get the alone achievement for being all alone. You'll just need to choose the option to leave your sister alone, and then you'll get this achievement to pop. After a short credit section, you'll be back to the main menu, and you can click continue. It will seem like everything started over, but this time it's just a hall with one door, and you already have the key. Your apartment will also be empty, so you'll use the key to open the vent in the bathroom and take out the watch. You'll then set it to 11.58 and wait for the other hand to meet it. This will take you back to meet with your father again. Or maybe the cop. This time we're going to choose to be with her and maybe she can accept the truth. 
Here, you'll first go over to the kitchen and look at the painting of the egg for the final part of Ouroboros. This time, it'll be a snake eating its own tail in the shape of an egg, and the achievement will pop. Then we'll start working on Gardener for watching them bloom. This is just going to be for watering the plant in your bedroom between each of the endings. So grab a cup, fill it with water, and go ahead and water the plant. At this point, it's just going to be a little bush. Now we'll get Groundhog for having the perfect day. You'll go grab the phone from the closet and go into the other room to call Bumblebee. This time you'll tell her why her father's coming so that she'll call him and make him leave before he ever gets to the door. Then you'll want to make sure you have both desserts and cups of water on the table. Once that's all set, tell your wife that you're ready to eat. She'll bring out the present and you just have to let her give that to you. Tell her that it'll be great, dance with her, and you'll have the perfect night with your wife. Or, uh, sister wife. You'll need to water the plants again for the second part of Gardener. At this point, it's going to have one flower on it, and you'll water it. Now we'll work on getting confessed for confessing to the crime. So you'll talk to your wife and tell her what really happened. Tell her that you killed her father, it's your fault, and you'll confess. Then grab the phone and tell Bumblebee that your wife is innocent again so that the cop will listen to you. Go grab the knife and get the watch from the bathroom, then wait for the cop. Once he's there, your wife will tell him to listen to you, and you can tell him that you killed her father, it's your fault, and give him the watch. Yeah, we'll give you the watch. We won't tell anybody. No one has to die. Your wife will then ask you to leave, and you'll need to do that. I need you to. Again, once in this loop, you're going to water the plant for the third part of Gardener. At this point, you'll have two flowers on it, and then go ahead and water it more. We'll then work on getting coward this loop. So you'll grab the knife and the cell phone, then grab a cup and put your wife to sleep. Turn the light on in the bedroom once, and then back off before she goes to sleep, and then hide in the closet and wait for the cop. Once he comes in and gets electrocuted, you'll go tie him up again, but leave everything else on him. Once he wakes up, you'll want to say that you're innocent and that you're going to work with him. He'll give you instructions which you'll need to follow until you eventually get the achievement. Don't do anything stupid. So then once again on this loop you'll need to water the plant. This will be the final part of Gardener, so it'll already have three flowers and when you water it you'll have the achievement pop. Now we'll get mindfulness on this loop. You'll want to talk to your wife three times about her book if you haven't already. Then go into the bathroom and use the watch. You'll move the hand back to 1158 to go back to visit the library. When he's talking, you're going to want to watch the clock until it gets to 1159. At that point, he's going to ask you to choose. So, you gotta make the choice. Here, you'll click on the red book behind you, and then select I change my mind when the option comes up. Then click on the clock and let him talk until 12. Make sure you hit I change my mind on this one or you'll mess up getting the very last achievement. But once the clock hits 12, you'll get this achievement. Now after the credits on that last one, you won't actually see a continue option. You'll need to grab the minute hand and turn it back to 1158 so we can get continue. Now while talking to the father again, you're going to click on the red book behind you and just wait it out. Don't click on any other options, and eventually this scene will end, getting you this last achievement. All right. Close your eyes. <sighs> and with that, we finally have 100% of the achievements in 12 minutes. And of course, we have YouTube memberships now, so if you want to support the channel further, get access to custom emotes to use in the comments, and have your name featured in a credit section at the end of the videos, Go ahead and join that now.